welcome back to my channel it's your girl leash and today i just wanted to bring some positivity to your day i don't know who needs to hear this message today i don't know who this is for but i just gotta get it out okay <laughs> so it's 2023 it's a new year you're full of goals you're full of dreams you're full of new year's resolutions if you must and you know that can be overwhelming it can be a lot to you know deal with it can be a lot of pressure on yourself and i don't know about y'all but i know for me the first week of the new year i felt like i got pummeled you know like literally ran over reversed and ran over again <laughs> i know that might be a little dramatic but you know it's real in your life when you have so much that you know you're looking forward to so much that you're thinking of it can be so overwhelming to the point that i feel like you start to put yourself down you start you just you just start to take the easy road out and you're like you know what this is too much this is way too much i'm just i ain't never gonna reach this i ain't never gonna get here i don't have time to be this stressed i don't have this that and the third like stop please stop have no fear okay have no fear because god is with y'all he is with you in your really good weeks. He's with you in your really bad weeks. He's with you when you feel like the darkness is so dark, like how could it ever possibly turn back into light? He is still there. He's just waiting on you to knock on that door and be like, Lord, I need help. I need courage. I need motivation. In Job chapter 37, verse 19, he says, tell us what we should say to him. We cannot draw up our case because of our darkness. Whatever you're going through, whatever you've been through, whatever your past is, that does not draw your case. That's not the finishing statement. That's not the final playbook. That's not, that's nothing. <laughs> that is nothing. You think of how many years did I struggle? How many years did I go through the things I did? versus how many more years you have left in your life you know who i was five years ago <laughs> if y'all knew me five years ago personally you'd be like how the heck did she get here she was a train wreck she was a train wreck that was about to go off the tracks okay literally off the tracks runaway train because that's what alicia was becoming and you know what? Sometimes you just gotta like stop. You gotta stop yourself dead in your tracks and be like, is this really the future I want for myself? Is this really who I wanna be? Is this who God created me to be? And you gotta knock on that door and be like, God, I'm ready. I'm ready to throw that away. I'm ready to move on. Because the time that I was held under chains, the time that I was just stuck in, you know, bad situations, is so much less than the time that you will have to flourish to succeed to reach your goals to be a light in this world to you know do whatever you have dreamed of doing there is more time to do that than the time that you have spent in darkness and it's up to you to stop it it's up to you to flip that light switch and you know you're not going to be able to do everything on your own but you can at least make the decision that says i want to move past this matthew chapter 7 verse 7 says ask and it will be given to you seek and you will find it knock on the door and it will be open for you he is waiting for you to decide that enough is enough he already knows what the ending results for you he already knows where you're gonna end up but you gotta allow him to get you there you have to allow him to get you there you have to make that decision that it ends today. <laughs> My darkness ends today. Today is the day that I'm going to ask him to turn that light switch on. That I'm going to knock on that door. That I'm about to ask for it. That I'm seeking it. That I'm no longer complacent. I'm no longer comfortable. Like, I don't even know a word to describe it other than just stuck. Stuck in negative thoughts. Stuck in negative situations. Stuck in doubt. Stuck in fear. I am ready to be courageous. I am ready to be strong. 
I am ready to persevere, to persecute anything that was against me, to let it all just go, let it all just fizzle. <laughs> let it be a storm cloud in the back, you know, because we, we ride in towards the horizon. You want to you want to stop and you want to reverse and you want to go back to that rainstorm, so be it, but we are moving forward. God is waiting on you to say, I want to move forward. Stop negatively talking. Stop mentally abusing yourself. Stop telling yourself what you can and what you can't do. You control the soundtrack of your life. You control it. You set the tone for how you perceive things, what your perception of things are. You set that tone. If every day you wake up and you say, oh, here we go again, going to the same job, still not living here, still not owning this business, still not doing this, that, and the third, that's what it's going to be. Yep, here we are again. Here we are in our negative thoughts. Here we're going to stay. Here we are going to die in our negative thoughts. But you have the power to change that. You have the power to flip the script and play a new soundtrack. Thank you, Lord, I woke up today. Thank you, Lord, for the courage that where I am right now are the building blocks or the foundation of where I'm going to be next year, where I'm going to be at the end of this year, where I might be next month, next week. What you do now, how you think now will affect how you think tomorrow and so forth. You have that power. Stop mentally abusing yourself. Stop because that's gonna get you nowhere. Change it to a positive. If you can dream it, you can do it. If you blind that dream and negative energy and negative thoughts, that dream is always gonna have a rain cloud over it. Your dream will turn into a reality. It all depends on how you water that seed. Cause listen, God put you here for a reason. God brought you out of the darkness for a reason. He didn't allow you to stay complacent. He didn't allow you to stay in suffering, to stay in bondage. He knew what he created you for. He knew the purpose for you. He was waiting on you to realize it for yourself, to want it for yourself, to believe it for yourself. It's up to you. Don't let it overwhelm you. Listen, you might not see it now. You might have never seen it before. But guess what? You are a bright light in this world. It might be a little dim right now. It might be a little clouded right now. You are a light in this world. You will be a light in this world. Matthew chapter 5 verse 14 says, You are the light and the salt of the world. People don't light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Put it on a stand and give light to everyone in the house. Whatever is inside of you, whatever your talents are, whatever your skills are, whatever you're good at, what comes naturally to you, it's in there. <laughs> it is in there, whether it's on the surface or whether it is buried underneath trauma, under grief, under self-hate, it's in there. you got to pull it out and plug it in and let it be light. Let it come to light. Because you never know who it's going to influence, who it's going to help, who it's going to reach. You living your everyday life and achieving your dreams is not only going to help you, but you never know who's going to help. You never know who's watching you. You never know who's waiting on you to do something so that it gives them the motivation to keep going. Let your light shine before others that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. When you look at me, I want you, I want you to remember where I was. I want you to know what I've been through, what struggles I've risen above, what grief I've been drowned in before. I lost my mom when I was 17 and my light was cut I mean cut from the power source the electricity wasn't even on I was lost I was hurting I was just so far gone that I didn't think I could make it out of that and that negativity just snowballed and it just rose into just 
mistake after mistake. I would I would reach the top of a hill every now and then. And then grief just hit me like a volcano. And I just came tumbling back down. And I, that was the hardest thing I've ever been through. And guess what? One day I decided I'm not going to live in this grief. I'm not going to simmer in it. I no longer want to drown in it. I'm ready to come above the surface. <laughs> I'm ready to turn it back on. I'm ready to flip the switch again. God, I'm knocking on your door. I'm seeking for new chances. I'm seeking for strength. I'm seeking for confidence. And let me be an example that God can pull you out of whatever storm you think you're going through. He can pull you out of the worst of the worst. Don't ever think that your hard times are your final straws. They are pushing you to be who you were created to be okay <laughs> you have so much potential you don't even see it you can't even see it but let me tell you when you open up your eyes and you find it and you see it you even could just get a preview of it hold on to it hold on to it and you will be amazed at where you go and who you become but one day you're gonna wake up and you're gonna be like I made it out. I have made it out. And I'm happy with where I am in the present. Because where I am in the present is a building block to where I'm going to be in the future. And all glory goes to him. All glory goes to God. <laughs> Don't you ever give up on yourself. Believe in yourself. You are beautiful. You are strong. You are courageous. You are talented and you are beautifully made. And don't forget, if you can dream it, you can do it. Everything seems impossible until it's done. And that's on God. <laughs> that's on God. <laughs> I hope this reached you. I hope this inspired you. I hope this gave you whatever it needed to give you. And I pray that in Jesus' name. I pray that the rest of your journey would be full of strength would be full of surprise and self-accomplishment, self-love, self-care. Be kind to yourself. Don't put yourself down. Believe in yourself. And stop thinking so negatively. You are a bright, shining light. And every diamond is made under pressure. Thank you so much for watching this video. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel. It is Everyday Leash. Have a beautiful, beautiful night.